Good morning to my Zachites. Zachites, does that make sense? I don't know. Sometimes the things I say are a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And that is a okay in my book. Appreciate you being with me this morning or afternoon whenever you're consuming this. Thank you. It's episode 13 of Zach Miller Live, and today, unlike last week, I don't have an announcement. I always, I love it when I have a great idea. I love it when I have a concept or maybe not an aha moment, but something that I can definitely improve upon or make a big impact with. Honestly, I have a lot of these kind of really good ideas after a few dilly dillies or in the middle of the night. And so I believe they say coffee is for getting things done, but from a creativity standpoint, alcohol is a good one. I don't know why that's the case, but apparently that's just the way that it goes. Appreciate you guys being with me today. It's another edition of Zach Miller Live. If you guys have questions, please feel free to ask them. But oftentimes I have good ideas. Or I have something that I know I'd get done and I don't know how to get it done, but then, you know, maybe I go to bed thinking about it, which is a bad thing to think about anyway. But then I wake up and I'm like, I have this great idea and I don't always go to do it. And so unlike many of you, and I start, I would recommend you doing this. I do not sleep with my cell phone. It sleeps in another, it's in a completely different room than mine. Cause you know what? There is nothing that matters overnight that I need that phone for. Now, sure. If something really bad is happening, I probably would want that cell phone. Right. And when my wife is out of town, she hates that. I don't have my cell phone with me. But I don't do it because I don't want to be distracted. I've already turned off all notifications on my phone anyway. But what do I need that phone for, right? Well, last night, like many nights, I'll wake up from a deep sleep and have a great idea or something comes up. And I'll say it a couple of times, thinking that I'll remember it the next morning, only to find out that that rarely happens. Does that ever happen to you? where you have a great concept or you have a great kind of thought, but you don't know, you don't remember it the next day or even a couple minutes later. Like I have a great memory. People tell me that the things that I can remember about them is amazing. Things that no one would ever remember, but that's a, a skill or a trait that I have. I have a great memory, except in the middle of the night when I'm like, Damn, what was I going to talk about? What what was that thing that I thought about? And so last night, two things came up in the middle of the night. And I said, you need to get up and write that down. Because you're not going to remember in the middle, in, in the morning. And so here we are, several hours later. Guess what? I didn't go, I didn't get up. And I didn't write it down. And so the moral of the story is simple. If you don't want a phone by your bed, that's fine. But you have to write it down immediately. And so I've told myself this many times, but I just don't do it. So this is it. This is a journal I got from the dollar store. There's a Zach hack for you. You want a journal? Don't spend eight bucks on one, 12 bucks on one. Go to the dollar store and get one. Look, it says jot. That's cool. It's a buck. They sell this at Walmart for like 40 bucks. You go to Walgreens, it's like $400. Yes, I'm exaggerating, but you get my point. My point is this, if you're someone that has a lot of ideas in the middle of the night and you don't explore them immediately or you don't write them down immediately, do you forget them? Because if you're like me, you do. And so instead of forgetting it, that great concept that maybe it's a business idea, right? For me, it was just, I don't even, I, don't, I honestly have no idea what they were and that's okay. Like it sucks that I forgot, but like... All I had to do was simply write it down. So I got my pen. 
This is a Sandler pen from my good friend, my good friends over at Sandler Training. Chad Senzel had lunch with him a few weeks ago. And Dave, I can't think of his last name. But there's your plug of the day, Sandler Training. This is it, right? This little thing right here would have saved my butt because I would have remembered what to say. So if in the middle of the night you're wondering and you have ideas, but you don't have a cell phone to put your notes in or something like that, you need to have this by your bed. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep this under my bed with a pen nearby. And when I have those ideas, I'm just going to roll out of bed, jot them down real quick. That'd be a good screenshot. And then I can wake up the next morning, rest assured that I have what I thought in the middle of the night. That's it. If you forget things, try to write them down quicker. Or find ways to be able to get that information back to you at a later time so you don't forget. Appreciate you guys being with us today for Zach Miller Live, episode 13. As always, super grateful for that. If you guys have questions that you want me to answer... Hit me up in the comments or email me at Zach at startwithhatch.com and I'll be sure to get back to them or include them on a show. Until then, no, we're not doing the peace sign today. We're doing the notebook. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you. Peace.